Hey gang, welcome back to Pretty Girl Gang TV where we do nothing but conduct pretty girl business. Okay. It's your girl Janina here and I am back with another video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys my current foundations that I'm going to be using for the fall and winter months that's coming up. Okay, so if you guys want to hear that, keep on watching. Before we get into the video, girl, I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about Dossier because this part of the video is in collaboration with Dossier. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Dossier, Dossier does create fragrances. One thing about Dossier, girl, is that Dossier understands the concept that people want to smell good. People also want high quality fragrances without paying high prices. Dossier carries fragrances for as low as $29.99. Yes. $29.99 fragrances that are inspired by some of your favorite perfume brands. Now, when you order from Dossier, you will get your fragrance packaged in a cute little box like this, fully protected. And when you do open the box, your fragrance, of course, comes in the box as well as a card explaining everything about your fragrance. And that is one thing that I love that Dossier does. They include this card that literally explains the concentration, the notes, what it's inspired by, everything you're going to know about your fragrance is on this card. Now, this fragrance that I have today is Floral Marshmallow and it is inspired by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. Also, what I really love about Dossier guys is that their packaging is dummy proof, okay? This top here is a magnet. When you put this in your purse, because I'm one of those girls, if I'm going somewhere and I have my perfume that I sprayed on, I actually want to take it with me just in case. And you can put this in your purse and it definitely will not spill out. If you guys wanted to purchase any of Dossier's fragrances, I do have a coupon code down in the description box below. And of course, all the information that I just told you guys will be down in the description box below as well. And thank you so much, Dossier, for collaborating with me on today's video. Now, on to the video. Okay, girl, I am so excited. Let me tell you guys, I am pumped for this video because I love giving my opinions on the different foundations that we should be wearing in different seasons, okay? So, girl, let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, 12? 12? I have 12 foundations that I'm recommending for the fall and the winter. Like, are you for real? That is so many. I didn't know I had 12. Let me see if I can maybe downgrade it to, no, I can't. I can't, like, no, I can't. I can't lessen it, girl. I can't take any away. I feel like all of these are perfect for the fall and winter months. Okay, let's go. The first one I'm gonna recommend for the fall winter months, girl, is the OG Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Foundation. Now, I did a video on this maybe two years ago. All of these foundations I've done a video on except for one, and I will get to that one in a minute. But I did a video about maybe two years ago when this first came out, and y'all, this remains my OG favorite for fall, winter months, and let me tell you guys why. So you guys know I'm from California, and I got moved to Virginia um, because I am a military spouse, and it started to get really grim for me, <laughs> okay? My skin started getting really dry. It was just really crazy adapting to such cold weather. And I will say this foundation really helped me live my best life with makeup, okay? This foundation is very luminous. It is very flawless, very filter-like. I love how it's just so moisturizing. So definitely this can even be fall. This can even be dead cold winter, okay? If you live in like freaking Iowa, you can use this. If it just snows so much like and your skin is dry, I would especially recommend this. This one is also something that I automatically reach for every winter, every fall. Like this is just my go-to fall winter girl. Number two, no girl, you know what? We ain't even gonna start with the numbers because I'm not gonna remember what number we're on, girl. So the next one is the NARS Light Reflecting Radiant Foundation. This foundation is really good for the winter and fall also because it does give you that nice glowy, dewy hydration look. The only thing about this foundation, girl, is the shades. I feel like the shades are just so off. 
I purchased Caracas, which I normally purchase and across the board in every single NARS foundation. And this just wasn't right. So I ended up actually mixing this with the NARS Sheer Glow. That's also a really good one that almost made the cut. But I just feel like the NARS Light Radiant light, or Light Reflecting Radiant, this foundation, it's like a Sheer Glow 2.0, okay? I, I love my Sheer Glow, don't get me wrong, girl, but this one is Sheer Glow on steroids. This one is just really, really good. I really recommend this one for the fall and winter months as well. Okay, so this next one, girl, I always reach for this one as well. This one is also an OG that I've been using for a while, and this one is next to my Laura Mercier Lumiere. I always reach for this one, and this is the Skin by Minted. Now, this is a actually a um, foundation stick, but this is the creamiest foundation stick you have ever, ever tried. And when I say creamiest, I say creamiest. It has a very hydrating formula, very creamy, very smooth. I have this in every single color. And what I mean with that, I mean my actual shade, I mean bronzer, I mean concealer. I actually have like almost every single color to do a full face with these sticks because these sticks are just that good. The formula is just that good. You can use this for concealer for bronzer especially if you're a dry girl these look really good it also has a smooth flawless finish so definitely skin by minted another stick i have that actually made the cut this year was merit beauty's foundation stick girl now merit beauty has some really good makeup they're very minimalistic so if you're a minimalistic clean girl girl merit is definitely for you but Merit really snapped when they did these foundations. They also redid these foundations to where they're a little bit more bigger, so they have a little bit more ounces of foundation in them, so you can get a little bit more bang for your buck. But y'all, I really am in love with Merit's foundation sticks too. I feel like they run head to head with Minted Cosmetics. The formula is really good. It's smooth, it's hydrating. It's just perfect for those winter harsh fall months. Okay, next I feel like I hold near and dear to my heart too. And this is the Clinique Even Better Clinical. Now, if y'all been watching my vlogs and stuff, y'all know that I have been wearing this a lot. I have been wearing this like in the summer. I've been wearing this in the spring. I've just been wearing this just because it's very lightweight. I love how it looks. The shade match is just perfect for me. And the feeling of it is just very lightweight. It's just like very smooth. Like I, I really love this foundation. This is a high-end foundation because it is Clinique, so it's a little bit more expensive. And girl, this is definitely going to be one of those foundations that I'm going to reach for the winter fall month. Okay, so I feel like I had to pick one out for the oily girls too because I am a natural oily girl and even though I do like glowy hydrated foundations sometimes in the winter time I do need a mattifying foundation I mean let's just be real girl like the winter don't stop the oils like I might get normal combo oily but it sure don't stop it don't stop nothing okay so for the oily girls I would recommend the new Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear and Care Glow I just did a review on this I will link it up in the cards above this one is really good for the oily girls. Now, it's really good for the oily or oily combo girls because it does dry down to kind of a satin velvety finish, but it's comfortable as well. So it's not too matte to where your face is gonna be all tight. It's actually very, very soft very smooth it also has hyaluronic acid for hydration and other things in here for skincare so if you're looking to take care of your skin as well as kind of control your oils girl in the winter fall months definitely the lancome tint Idol. so this next one came as a shocker to me because i didn't really i'm not gonna say i didn't really like it when i reviewed it i'm gonna say i wasn't really impressed especially for the price i believe it this this is the Kosas Revealer. Let me just tell y'all what it is first. It is the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna say that I didn't like it because I do like it. I feel like I need another shade in it though. I feel like the shade is a little bit too light. So I actually have another shade in my cart in Sephora that I'm going to actually purchase and try. Um, I just wasn't impressed with this foundation. I also feel like this foundation came out in like 
midsummer as well i think like a year or two years ago so i really didn't think this was a good launch i think they should have launched this also in the um winter fall or colder months as well um this one has a bunch of skincare benefits as well it has arnica it's one of those one of those foundations that have arnica because you know everybody's putting fermented arnica in their things now um so my opinion on this is that it is very glowy and very dewy. Kosas is known for just their skincare factor and just everything being hydrating and good for your skin. And that's good, but I think this will definitely work if you are more on the drier side, if you're like a dry girl. Um, if you're an oily girl, even in the winter months, if you're still oily, I would recommend priming with a primer that is like mattifying not so much um a moisturizer or anything um, because this will just mix with it and make it a little bit uh, more slippery than what you want it to and it probably won't last that long because this didn't last that long on me but definitely for the winter months when i start getting dry this one is definitely going to be the one that i choose i just feel like i just need a different color for that one girl this one let me tell you this one was impromptu okay i actually have the foundation on right now and i have actually been testing it out for the past few days this is the house labs triclone skin tech foundation y'all this one right here, this one right here is such a good foundation for the fall winter months. I feel like Haas Labs planned on launching this around this time and I am so happy that they did because this is perfect. This is also perfect I feel like for the summer and spring too, depending on how you prime as well. But girl, definitely the fall, winter, colder months, this one is great. It is comfortable. As you can see, it's so smooth. It gives you off a natural finish and then it just dries down very comfortable, very smooth. Y'all, I'm telling you, I have been wearing this foundation for the past few days and I would definitely say, I don't even feel like it's for oily or um, a certain skin type dry. I feel like this is for everybody. Everybody can wear this foundation. It's called Skin Tech, okay? Because it, it feels like skin. It looks like skin, it's comfortable. It has skincare benefits as well. It is one of those foundations that have Arnica in it. I just feel like Haas Labs, they tipped the scales with this. I was super impressed with my review of this foundation. And yeah, definitely gonna choose this one all year round, but especially for winter and fall months. Okay, so we're down to our last two girl now. This one is from LYS and it's their Triple, Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I just purchased this maybe about two, three months ago and I have been using it and I have little mixed thoughts on it. However, I do think it is great for the fall, winter, and colder months just because it is more of a serum. It has a very light coverage to me, but you can build it up to like a medium full coverage. And I feel like you can build it up safely to where it's not cakey or crazy either, but it is definitely a really nice feeling, really hydrating, really smooth. And I feel like even when I set this foundation, because when I tried this, a few times I decided to set it with a setting powder as well it also still stayed very bouncy and very serum like even though it was now mattified it didn't turn into just anything weird because you know how sometimes you can't really set serums or tinted moisturizer just because it will get a little strange because you're kind of messing with the formula this didn't do that so I feel like this is a very high quality serum as well I feel like LYS put their foot into the formula when it comes to this foundation I feel like LYS's makeup period is top tier so I would definitely recommend this one for the fall winter months as well if you just want something that's very lightweight very light coverage and something that's just covering a little bit of imperfections you're one of those girls with perfect skin and you can just put a drop of serum foundation on and go out the door honey that one is definitely for you well, this last foundation let me tell you it wasn't even a question for me because y'all see that i use this one all the time this is the sephora best skin ever foundation y'all sephora best skin ever is a really good line okay it's affordable and it's a very good line I just purchased some of their concealers. If you guys didn't see any of my vlogs or any of my videos that I've been testing out their concealers, then you need to check that out. Sephora's Best Can Ever is just a really good foundation, period. It has a nice natural finish. It's not too dewy, it's not too glossy, it's not too hydrating. 
It just has a very natural, soft, nice natural finish. And I really do think this will be great in the winter months as well. It's also great in the summer, in the spring, all year round, because I have been wearing this for the past few years all year round. This is kind of like one of my OGs that I am grabbing and going to like regardless. Okay, girl, so those are my picks of foundation that I'm going to be wearing for this fall and winter. Let me know in the comments down below any thoughts you guys have. What foundations will you be rocking? in this fall and winter girl don't forget to like this video okay don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye bye